I'm Andrew. I'm Alyssa. And this, this is Dragon's Adventures. Hey guys, what's up? It's Andrew and Alyssa. She's driving. And Captain right here. We're on our way to the airport to head to Maui for a couple of weeks. Yeah, very excited, very excited. Captain's not such a big fan of the drive. We're going to go drop him off at Grandma and Grandpa's. And he's going to spend the day there before his brother comes and picks him up and takes him to be a beach kitty. Say hi, Captain. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll keep you posting all the fun stuff on the flight and in Maui, Hawaii. Stay tuned. We're grabbing some breakfast here at the Einstein Rose Bagels. Melissa's got her coffee. And I will let you know how it tastes. Okay guys, we got these bagel sandwiches from Einstein Bagel Company. And uh... It's a serviceable sandwich. I mean, we're hungry, so... I guess it'll do. See you on the plane. What's up? We have landed in Honolulu and we are waiting for our three o'clock flight to take us over to Maui now. And we just came down to one of the little garden areas that's inside the security line of Honolulu so you don't, you're not stuck indoors. Uh, it is very humid here in Hawaii this time of year. Uh, I'm sweaty. Yes. Yeah. Uh, long flight, six hours. My butt hurts. How you doing? Yeah, yeah. my butt hurts. I'm tired. Uh, uh. Um, but we're, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're, we're just so very close. It's a one o'clock now. Our flight's at three. So we got about two hours to go here in the airport. Not quite long enough to leave the airport and like go do anything. So we're just going to hang here. We're going to grab a sandwich, bite to eat, maybe a beverage. Um, although, how many beverages did you have on the flight? I had three. I did as well. So there's that. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, we'll keep showing you what we show you. Hey, Alyssa, tell the people where we're at. Hi, so we're at Stingeray. Honolulu, and I have a Long Island iced tea. Is it good? It's really good. Yeah? It's super good. And to clarify, we're, we are in Honolulu, but we're in the Stinger Rays in the airport. We yes. have not left the airport. And then I just went with the classic. I got Jack on the rocks. Very cool and refreshing. This is actually my favorite uh, in-airport restaurant, the Stinger Rays, because A, there's a lot of space in here, so I don't feel like I'm with a bunch of people. Uh, B, they have these cool ceiling fans that are actually cooling me off because it is humid. I don't know if I mentioned that already. But anyway, we're gonna share some uh, mahi tacos. We'll show them to you right now. So we got our food in, dug right in, and forgot that we we're videoing things for you. So here's Alyssa's reaction of bite number two. Again, we got the mahi tacos. I put Tabasco sauce on mine because I like spice. It's so good, right? It really is, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're so gonna fun. eat these, guys. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. It's delicious. Aloha, everybody. We have landed in Maui. Aloha. 
and uh, we are actually just waiting for our ride. Uh, we are renting a car from Kihei Rent a Car. I'll link to them in the description below. Um, and what happens, they're about 20 minutes south of the airport, so I don't have to go deal with all the rental agencies here at Maui Airport. If you've ever been, you know it's not a fun experience sometimes. Uh, they actually just come pick us up. You call them when you get off the plane. It takes them about 20, 25 minutes to get up here. It takes you that long to get off the plane and get through check bags and all that good stuff. And uh, they come pick you up, take you back to their office of Kihei, you get the car rental. Then when I return it in two weeks, we return it in Kihei, and then they come drop us off at the airport. So I don't have to deal with parking then either. It's pretty cool. So check them out. And uh, they're actually like one of the cheapest rentals on the island. Yeah. And I think that's pretty cool. We've got the uh, West Maui Mountains there in the background. Whoop. Isn't it pretty? Yes, it is. So uh, let's see what the night has in store. Bye. Bye. guys we're finally at our condo sugar beach resort this is the only place we stay when we come to maui in this very condo and a nice master bedroom here with the bathroom shower toilet and sink and then down the hallway here full laundry services nice size kitchen Alyssa's checking out what's already in here before we hit the grocery store big living room nice dining area and this is the real kicker here we are steps, literal steps from the water. There we go, literal steps. Second floor, it's perfect. We can see straight out. So yeah, that's uh, Sugar Beach. We're gonna go grab some groceries, some dinner, come back and eat, and uh, then probably hit the spa, because we're beat. It's been a very long travel day today. We'll see you in the next shot. All right, guys, we are headed over to Foodland. We are going to grab some poke for dinner and uh, and some groceries for a few days, uh, maybe the week. Um, we plan on hitting Farmer's Market, and we have to go to Tomorrow's still, um, and we're doing a lot of dining out for you guys. So uh, we are going to head over to Foodland. I'll show you a little bit around in there if I find something of interest. Otherwise, we'll just show you the poke we're eating when we get back. Hey guys, what's up? We are back to the condo now, and we got our poke. Uh, what did we get? Some spicy tuna, spicy ahi, ahi, and then the shoyu. And then I got an oyster one. But like an oyster sauce one? Yeah. We're not sure which is which though here, and on a bed of rice. Now, this poke is supposed to be one of the best pokes in, uh, in Maui. Um, it's tied between this and another grocery store actually. We also got us a bottle of our favorite Hawaiian whiskey, Paniolo. Uh, it's delicious, and uh, we're just eating it out on our lanai here. What do you think, Alyssa? Have you tried it yet? No. Right, let's see, I'll try. Mm. Does it live up to the hype? It's really good. I'm going to try a piece of that spicy ahi. Yeah? So good. Right on. All right, so uh, she's right. This is absolutely freaking phenomenal. Uh, we're used to mainland poke, which is very different. It's got a bunch of toppings and a bunch of fish. This is fish and rice with some onions and a sauce. It's very simple, very clean, and very delicious, and it's hitting every spot. While I have you, My absolute favorite Hawaiian whiskey is right here. There's some new ones I have to try this trip, but this one's the business. We had it first in 2019, right? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you a little story. <laughs> my parents came on that trip, my kids came on the trip, my brother and his family, everyone was on that trip. We actually were on Kauai, and uh, 
we were staying, uh, we were hanging out over at the condo my parents were staying at. We were playing games at the dining room table. We stopped and grabbed a bottle of this that night on the way in. There were four adults drinking. The whole bottle went away in one night. That's how good this whiskey is. So definitely want to check that out. I will link to it down below as well as where you can get this amazing pote. So we just left our condo. We came down the stairs. I just want to show you real quick how close we are. It's gorgeous. That's our condo right there. And this is our beach right here. Okay guys, so after that walk, we're stomping by our pool and spa. We're gonna do a little nightcap, which we'll probably do every single night. So I'll show you a little aerial view. There's the spa, there's the pool. And uh, this is where you find us pretty much every night here on Maui. Good morning guys, what's happening? Hey, it's uh, day two in Maui, technically our first full day, and as anticipated, I was up early. So today, our traditional activity is, uh, wherever our first island is when we come to Hawaii, on the first day, we always try to schedule some kind of a boat trip. The reason being is you usually have to check in very early for them, and we anticipate being up very early on our first day of vacation. So, today we're joining the Four Winds. We're gonna do a little Molokini snorkel tour. We'll be out on the boat for five hours. That was five, there. Um, and we get breakfast and lunch included. There's an open bar after you snorkel. Snorkeling obviously included, hoping we're at the very tail end of whale season. I'm hoping there's still one or two out there in the channel we're gonna be able to check out. But we're going to Molokini. We're gonna show you some of that. And then uh, after that, we're just gonna relax the day away, maybe hit a few happy hours. Um, uh, and, and just uh, enjoy ourselves today. So uh, stay tuned. There's our boat, the Four Winds 2. We're very excited to get on board her. She looks like a fun one. All right, we're finally on board here. We've got our continental breakfast, which came with a full cup and a muffin. And this is gonna show you the muffin. It's like a lemon coffee seed. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got some coffee and some pot juice. And we're just waiting to set sail. Hey guys, we're finally set sail here on the Four Winds 2, which we have linked to in the description below. And we are going to head out to Molokini Crater, and uh, I did bring the GoPro today, so I'll be able to do some underwater shots for you. We'll show you a little bit of lunch and some of the activities available on board. This one costs under $150 a person. Um, I can't remember exactly. I'll, I'll put it in writing right here. Um, but uh, well worth it, you get breakfast, lunch, five hours, two of which you're actually in the water for, so that's pretty cool. So we're just leaving Malaya Bay, uh, the harbor right now, and heading out to sea.
these two. We just uh, anchored, if you will, and we're about to go get in the water. We'll swap to GoPro footage from this point forth until we get back off the ship. So wanted to show you lunch real quick that's on the uh, full wind snowball trip and uh, pre-order at the dock be sign up in the morning. You get a hot dog, a chicken sandwich, full pork or a, a vegan, like a beyond burger kind of thing. And then you fix it up the way you want. We got lettuce, tomato, some onion, barbecue sauce on there. Comes with a bag of chips. This is including the cruise. And then bottomless bubbles. Hey, check that out. So I have a Takate and Alyssa's gonna be enjoying a white cup right there. Uh, they also had some wine as well. I went with the barbecue chicken thing. It's dry. It's definitely dry, but after being in the water, it's delicious. Hey guys, it was pretty rough on the way back from Molokini. Uh, it was super windy, so the, the water was a little choppy. And because of that wind, none of the footage I have is, is usable. And we saw well. Check this out right here. Uh, I think that was pretty amazing. Um, we didn't think, we didn't actually plan on seeing one. We were at the very tail end of the whale season. But we saw one and he played with us. I mean, he literally just flapped that that uh, fin repeatedly for us, which I thought was pretty spectacular. Uh, overall, What's up? we are back from our Molokini snorkel adventure with Four Winds 2. Mm -hmm. uh, what are your overall thoughts about the day? It was a lot of fun. I feel like the snorkeling was a little disappointing. And when I say disappointing, I'm it's talking relative. about, yeah, yeah, we went the first time. Back um, like in a different 2012 is when you and I went together. Yeah, we went time, with right? Pacific Well Foundation. Yeah. It was, it was fantastic. Absolutely incredible. But I also might be jaded because that was seriously the first time I've ever snorkeled. So you're remembering that with so, uh, with nostalgia goggles. Yeah. 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 Not see, we didn't see fish. We saw plenty. You just saw all the photos. All the, I mean, you, yeah. You, you, it was a good snorkel time. It just mm -hmm. wasn't our favorite Molokini time. Yeah. Is that fair? To yeah. Say? Uh, what's your thoughts about the crew on that ship? Crew was amazing. Very uh, helpful. Very friendly. Um, on on just, top of it, they were on top of everything. Yeah, yeah. everything. Yeah. Like they were, they were great. They were bringing definitely, drinks, and then helping people on or up off and down the, boat the steps. Because yeah. it was really rough. It was really rough. So I, I I only showed you a very teeny bit, but it, it was it was a rough one. Yeah, you can tell by my hair that the wind was blowing. <laughs> yeah, we're we were beat. I don't know if you can see all the sunscreen because <laughs> I just kept layering it on and not wiping it in. Yeah, um, we're we're pretty beat right now. Uh, but we are back at the condo. We're in a shower. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe we're gonna go out there first. Maybe we're gonna go check out our little beach. Mm -hmm. um, but we're gonna hit some happy hours today, and then come have a nice relaxing evening here at the condo. Yeah. Hit the spa again, obviously. Yo, yeah, yeah, that's a must. We'll have to hit a grocery store for some more whiskey. Whoops. <laughs> um, but we overall, met a really nice couple too. We did. We're, we're hopefully gonna hang out with them tomorrow. They're from yeah. New York. 
um, there are kind of people, um, and you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you the story. The way we bonded, we were in line together this morning at, at 6.30, and there were some high waves over the breakwater, and there were places to park your cars there, so people were parking. But they backed into the spaces, so their trunk was facing these crashing waves, and we were just sitting there wishing that a big wave would come and like soak them while they were getting all their bags and stuff yeah. out of the trunk. We're horrible and people. We know we're terrible people, but this couple was also terrible people, and there are terrible people now. Um, yeah. But anyway, always fun to meet people on a yeah. cruise like that. Um, if you're not going in a big group, then get, meet someone. Say hi. It's, it's yeah. super easy to do, especially here on Maui because everyone is filled with low yeah. boss spirit. Um, but overall, great morning. Mm-hmm. I'm a little wiped. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, we'll see what the day brings us. Yep. Hey, guys. So we opted to skip the happy hours today. We realized we were kind of tired from the uh, snorkel trip and just wanted to kind of chill at our condo. We went out to our beach out there, Sugar Beach, and played in the waves for about an hour. Uh, just kind of floating and bobbing around, letting the current take us down the beach a bit and then coming back. Um, and now we're going to go hit uh, one of our favorite spots on the island is actually here at our complex. It's a locals hole in the wall dive bar called Dina's Sandwich. And that's witch spelt like a, a hackling, scary Halloween person. Um, <laughs> so we're going to go grab a bite to eat there. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon here, but we're hungry because we've burned a lot of calories today. And then we'll have some dinner later. But I'm going to show you what we get at Dina's right now. Right, hey, guys. Before I show you the food that we got from Dina's Sandwich, we will probably go there two or three times. So I'll be sure to insert a shot right now of what it looks like inside because it's awesome. All right. So now that you've seen that, um, let me show you what we got tonight. We went with two different, very different dishes um, and got it to go. Brought it back up to our lanai so that we can enjoy our gorgeous view that you can kind of see in the reflection behind me, even though it's that direction. Um, so Alyssa got Simon, which is a noodle dish. Alyssa. Okay, I'm gonna get some of it. There's so much in here. I'm so excited. We had this the last time we were here. We brought the kids and, and it was so delicious and I've literally been craving this ever since. It's super hot. Still, still slapped, as the kids oh, would say. So good. Yeah. It's so good. Oh my god. Guys, I went simple. I've had these before, and they do it really well. I got nachos, and we did do to-go order. Normally, this comes on a plate with all this stuff on it, but they've got a really great salsa, a guac, sour cream. There's onions, jalapenos, olives, cheese, and tortilla. I mean, it's so basic and simple, but they do it so very well there. While they were making it, we did have a drink. Uh, each, each of us had a beverage, but since we brought it back to our lanai, we're just drinking good old Paniolo whiskey again. Uh, but these two uh, things of food and two drinks, one each, uh, and a generous tip, 40 bucks out the door. It's a little hole in the wall. It's located at Sugar Beach. I will link as best I can in the description below. They don't have an online presence but I'll, I'll get you there. Um, so check that out. Please go support Dina's Sandwich. It's a local institution. We were the only tourist in there, and that is how it always is. There's one or two tourists in there. The rest of them are all locals after work, hanging out, having a good time, talking shop, um, talking story. So come support Dina's Sandwich any chance you get if you're in Kihei, Maui. I'm gonna dive in. We got a bunch of this on here. I'm a little bit walk to you. It's nachos. It's everything you want nachos. It's good. It's stick to your ribs fantastic. It's going to soak up the booze real nice and give me energy because we did burn a lot of calories today. This is great. Come check it out. All right, guys, we are back in the condo. Basically, this afternoon after we got back from the snorkel tour, we went and hung out at our beach. We came back up. We had some drinks and snacks on the patio and what you saw from uh, Dina's sandwich. Then we walked the beach, we came back up, and then we went and hung out in the hot tub and did our standard nightcap, and that was amazing. But we're a little hungry again, so we hit the ABC store, we grabbed some Spam Misubis and two different pokes, and we're gonna show those to you right now. All right, so I am eating, this is pokey, awfully spicy, 
And then we also got salmon poke. So let's try, let's try the salmon poke. Very basic, very, very basic product. Ooh. There's a little spice there. All right. I what, maybe this is like red chili flake. I don't know. That was good. That was an unexpected kick. Let's try the actual spicy one. Mmm. Really good. Definitely has a kick at the end. Look at it. I mean, especially for ABC. Okay. This was on discount too. Yeah. What did we like get? Twenty percent off. Twenty percent off. So they were they were very decently priced. Yeah, I think one was seven and one was six or yeah. something. And then what else did we get here, we Alyssa? Also got my favorite thing ever, spam masubi. What is spam masubi, Alyssa? It's rice with a piece of spam covered in seaweed. Okay. And a lot of times it's like teriyaki or soy sauce, but it's okay. It's in. Am I taking a bite of this too? Yeah, go for it. With a little hot, we just heated it up. Everything you want, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So good. I don't know why it works, but it works. I love it. Hey guys, I want to give my opinion now of the poke that we had. Um, last night we raved about the poke from Foodland. It was, it was pretty darn good. Alyssa was it like amazing. This poke is not bad by any stretch of the imagination, but it is in no way comparative to the poke we had at Foodland. And we still have to try Tamura's, which is a third grocery store poke place. I will say though, of the two pokes we got that you just saw, I am a big fan of the salmon one simply because the fish tastes fresher. But the spice on the the tuna, the spicy tuna, is like through the roof. It's astounding. Obviously, I'm not gonna say anything bad about Spam Masubi. There's never a wrong time to have Spam Masubi. You should be eating it constantly because it's delicious. But we've talked to friends. You can't make it at home the right way. I don't know what they do here. It's rice, spam, and seaweed. It's not like it's a secret magic thing. We cannot replicate this. If you were in the islands, please go grab yourself some spam masubi wherever you're at. 7 Eleven, ABC store, doesn't matter. It's all good. Get spam masubi. Um, we will continue our pokey tasting adventure for you, but we've done uh, Foodland and ABC store now. We'll hit Tamara's and I'm sure we're gonna have some poke at one of the many restaurants We're gonna show you on this island uh, In the meantime though, I'm gonna continue eating enjoying a glass of whiskey and let's see those beautiful waves Hey guys, so I uh, went and picked up breakfast this morning at Sugar Beach Bake Shop it's maybe a 10 minute walk from our condo. Uh, it's about a two minute drive. Um, and I was actually able to place an order online like two weeks ago uh, from California, which I thought was really cool. Um, they're a highly rated bake shop. I'm excited to try them. But before I get started, they get crowded. There's a line outside uh, that fills up real quick. I got there at 6.30. That's when I set my, my pickup time. Um, and I was in line about six, 25 and uh, uh, suddenly behind me there was 20 more people um, that being said something I didn't know and there is no signage there to tell you this if you do an online order don't wait in the line go to the window on the side of the door um, as long as it's your pickup time you can do that if you get there early you're wait until your pickup time to go to the window um, great experience so let's see how the food tastes this right here is a vanilla cream filled masada. This is a Li Hing Mui masada. And then this is a spinach and feta croissant. We're very excited to try it. And Alyssa is going to tell us how it tastes. Ooh, oh yeah. yeah. We can see the filling yeah. now. There it is. Show us. The croissant is amazing. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. It's the business. 
bottom. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, here. yeah. So good. All right, so I'm gonna try the, I think I'm gonna start with the vanilla cream film, uh, Malsada. And Malsada is a, it's a donut. It's a wine donut, for lack of a better word. We've had them on pretty much every island, I think, and we love them, they're delicious. This is a vanilla cream film, and I promise to try not to make a huge mess. It's perfect, guys. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I don't know if you've seen there make the difference between vanilla cream and the mm. flaky, yummy donut. It's hard to tell, but it looks amazing in real person. In real life. It's, it, I, I'm gonna take one more bite and it's gonna be gone. I mean, this is delicious. And these are, I think $1.50, maybe $2. Worth every penny. Um, I'll put a little verbiage somewhere on the screen here that tells you how much these are at the bake shop. Um, but wow. See ya. All right, guys, it's time for me to try the Lee Hing Mui. Now, before I do, uh, we discovered Lee Hing uh, powder in 2012, when we yeah. came Maui, I think. And I was putting it on everything for a long time. We bought a big bag of it to take back uh, back to California. And I would put it on fruit. I would put it on bread. We put it on pancake. I mean, just anything I could get this powder on, I put it on. Um, I'll put some herbage about this powder because I'm tired, it's early, and I don't know everything right now about what this is exactly, what it's made from. But it's sweet and salty and tangy and perfect. So this small salad is not cream filled. It's just the pastry, just the donut, but it's coated in that powder. This one's gonna make a mess. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get the Lee Hing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get that salty, sweet. It's delicious. It's just, I mean, it's all over me right now. Um, definitely don't eat that one in public. Super tasty though. We brought this back to our condo so that we can enjoy it with this. Okay, Alyssa, you have finished all three items on your plate, as have I. Uh, Sugar Beach Bake Shop. What are your final thoughts? What was your favorite thing? Amazing. You definitely have to try it. It, it had great reviews and it li lived up to it, definitely. Um, honestly, I would have thought the most honest, especially the vanilla one, the really cream, would have been my favorite. I do like sweet stuff, but the croissant is the one that took the, took the cake for me. It was sweet from the croissant. It was savory with the spinach and feta. It was just really, really good bites. So, nice. Yeah. Definitely cool. get that one. Get awesome. That one here. Yeah, we loved it. Thanks, guys. Dragon fruit farm up on the West Maui mountain slopes and you can see the ocean way down there behind us uh, the grounds here are just stunning and we haven't even done the tour yet we just got here uh, we're pretty excited um, to check it out 
a lot of walking, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Uh, but they have water all on the route and, and uh, yeah, we're stoked. It's a pretty cool place. We'll be sure to show you everything we can. All right, Alyssa, why don't we figure out what we are having to drink before our tour? So this is an iced chai latte with coconut milk. All right. It's pretty warm out today, so an iced beverage was in order. Wow. You definitely taste, there's, a, there's chai, but there's a lot of coconut milk. It's really good. Like really good, very satisfying. I mean, it's better than Starbucks. It's, it's definitely good. Um, Six dollars for this drink. I will say we had wanted two other beverages and they were out of the ingredients for them. So our first two choices for the, the cold drink were like, no, we don't have it. They just seem, and, and she did say Mondays are tricky, but like that they're not ready for people on a Monday. Um, and I don't know why. Maybe because yesterday was Easter. I don't know. I, I don't want to hold them to it. But there is a small little food truck. They have a few little food items and some cold beverages and then some hot beverages. But I'm going to guess it's about 80 today and super humid because, like, I'm, my shirt sticks to me. So cold beverage is what we needed. And I think we ended up with a good one, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I great. enjoy it. And plus, I mean, look at this view. In 2009 by Crystal and What's the smell like? Yeah. Yeah. It smells like the food like It smells like very dry. Yeah. So what are you gonna eat right now? Yeah, apparently this is edible. A salad. It tastes like lettuce. Yeah, you can literally, I mean, I would just take these off and stick them. Yeah. Like yeah. A pretty salad. Yeah. Pretty tasty? Yeah. Something funny we're not going to enjoy or? <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like chicken noodle soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just put that like moist in This is what she said. On the tongue? Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, the like moist end on the tip of your tongue. You first. Ten seconds, and then take it off. Okay. Thank you. You want to try? It sucks all the moisture out of your tongue. Oh. Yeah. 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 So if you're salivating a lot, this stuff. That's crazy. It doesn't suck all the moisture. Is there a water station after this, then? <laughs> Don't want to do it? Do it. Yeah. It 10 seconds. Oh, yeah. Now I think we're down to like 14, but yeah, here we are. Years later. Looking good. Uh, the dragon fruit season is just starting right now, so it's typically like April uh, through November. Uh, so we're just now starting to get some really pretty blooms on the flowers. Um, We've got, yeah, about like 14 different species. I'll show you some of the over here. Nice. We've got one really pretty one right here. Cool. Yeah. And then a bunch down there at the bottom, too. Yeah. So they're considered binding cactuses. Like I said, we've got about 14 different species. And you can tell the difference just between these two right here. This one's like smaller and chunkier. This one's a little, little bit longer. So dragon fruit. Grow out of each of these only as close as you can. Yeah, it's not bad. Thank you. Yeah. I know they have a lot of flavor, yeah. <laughs> Like a, uh, it almost tastes like a yeah. snack tea. It's not bad. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. We like to pretend that we remember everything she just said about what's in this platter, but we don't. So we're just going to eat some stuff. I know there's mango, papaya, soursop, tangerines, pineapple, 
brown sugar something or other and some kind of a nut thing that's like a grape inside and we don't remember the I feel name. Like it looks like a kumquat or something like at home. We're gonna find out Loquat? today. Loquat? Loquat. Loquat. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm gonna start with pineapple because I know what that tastes like. Mm hmm Oh, it's good mm. pineapple. I know what tangerine tastes like. Mm. Mango? We know mango. We don't eat the skin on the mango, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. I mean, this is all fresh fruit from the farm we just toured. Mm. That's good mango. Good. good mango. What are we doing? Papaya next? I am. Papaya? It's really good papaya. It's called uh, delicious all day long. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. That's amazing. What do you think? That's pretty That's good so papaya, good. huh? And now we're gonna get to the three things we've never had before. Do you want to start with the sour, sour yeah. sop? Now we she don't said, eat "Don't eat the seeds." So I don't know if you can see. There's a big black seed in there. Um, I'm gonna film Alyssa because I don't think I can remove seeds while filming. Pretty tasty. This is the brown sugar something rather. She said don't eat the seeds in this either. <laughs> it tastes like it? brown sugar. No, it looks, it actually looks like brown sugar. This one's good. I like that a lot. Mm. All right, try the brown it's, sugar thing. Okay. Don't eat the skin. I didn't get any seeds in there. Tastes like brown sugar, right? That is crazy. <laughs> so good, though. Let me see where it is. This name? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, it's good stuff, huh? There you go. Awesome. Thank you so much. No problem, yeah. I mean, guys, you saw the plate of fruit, and we also got an entire coconut, which is our favorite thing to drink. And then this is dragon fruit lemonade. So it's I mean, very trippy. Let, let me lemonade. know how it is. Yeah, you're okay. you're in on this. We love fresh coconut. It's one of our favorite things. Very refreshing. Yeah. Very refreshing. Uh -huh. mm. Also very hydrating, and um, can be used in an emergency and a blood transfusion. It has the same pH balance or something as your plasma. Okay hey guys, what's up? We just finished with the Maui Dragon Fruit Farm. Had a blast, loved every minute of it. Love the value in, in the tasting that you get afterwards as well as the educational tour and I think that's important. Uh, sorry for the wind, the windows are down because we're in Hawaii and it's a nice day. Uh, we are rushing now to get to, we're doing a chocolate tour for you guys today as well. And uh, the, the Dragon Fruit Farm tour started late because they were waiting for people that actually never showed up, which is unbelievably rude. And because it started late, it ended late. So we are rushing to get to our next book tour. Um, and I, I hate being that guy uh, that is, it, but we will make it on time. I just, I would have liked to have been 15 minutes early, you know what I mean? Um, but we're excited. We're gonna go do, after all that yummy fruit you just saw, now we're gonna go eat a bunch of chocolate. Rough day, Alyssa? Oh yeah. Yeah? We're so stoked. Uh, hey, we'll see you at the chocolate tour. All right guys, we made it. Uh, with two minutes to spare, we got here. So we're about to do a guided tasting at the, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it, I'll just put it uh, on the screen right here. We'll get there. But uh, we'll show you the chocolates as we go.
Now this is a single type of pod called uh, a forest arrow type it's called Ecuadorian National. Very fancy name. We call it Gunner's Dr. Chocolate. He was a biophysicist, right? He like had no idea how to make chocolate, didn't know very much about it. He's trained himself all this. The orange, yes. So the blood orange is used as an essential oil for the flavor. Um, essential oils, as soon as that cup of cow butter melts, it's immediately available to your taste bud. The mango and guava is actually a fruit with a natural fruit particle that has to stand out of that one slight state. Now, usually, historically, when you bring in new animals and plants, always, a lot of times it doesn't work out so well, right? You see the king's go all here. Uh, so this one is a dark milk Ecuador, okay? It's going to have that same kind of uniform quality as a flavor, but it's been mellowed Hey guys, what's up? We just finished with the uh, chocolate tasting, the guided tasting. Uh, Alyssa, you're the chocolate girl. What you think? It was really good. Very tasty. Um, some of my favorites. I like the first one, um, the dark chocolate, uh, the Mali Grown one. Yeah. The OMG, the, the blood one one was also super tasty. Orange mango guava, Orange mango right? Guava. Yeah, yeah, OMG. That one was super tasty as well. All very delicious, uh, very informative. The tour, the actual tasting, I would say tasting tour, the tour through the chocolates was very informative. Yeah. Um, he knew what he was talking about. Um, a lot of fun. And I don't even know, they're, they're a fairly new company. I mean, I knew this didn't exist in, in, uh, maybe the last time we were here, he said they barely opened in 2019, so they must have opened like the week after we left in 2019 because we actually ate at a restaurant across the street that's no longer there. Um, and uh, it's a cool company. The dude that owns it is fairly rich, so he doesn't take a salary and then donates all the profits to charity. Uh, super cool. The chocolates, I don't, I'm not even a chocolate guy. And honestly, I'm a little chocolated out right now. Um, we had the sweet fruit, and now I had sweet chocolate. I'm gonna go get something savory to eat for lunch. I need a taco or something. Um, but that being said, I didn't dislike any of the nine samples that we had. In fact, I like them all. But that is my. I'm I'm up to here with chocolate right now. That that's my limit. I think is yeah. Is it's it ends up being about 1.6 ounces of chocolate that you get on this thing. Uh, but I I feel like what we learned and what we ate. It, it's worth the price at 35 bucks I think yeah was this one um, super cool though definitely come check them out links in the description below hey guys so as you see we're at Ono tacos this place is like one of the highest rated uh, things you can do here in Lahaina town um, it's a little trailer at the end of a parking lot. I mean, if you didn't know it was here, you wouldn't know it was here. So look it up and make sure you come have some. Um, we ordered a, uh, a taco combo, which is two tacos, rice and beans, and it comes with uh, uh, your choice of meats. And you can, he said just for me, but I know he does it for everybody. You can make the two tacos different. So we're gonna get one shrimp and one fish, and then we added on a Mexican Coca-Cola because there is not a better Coke on the planet. Um, Totals $15.50 for two tacos, rice, beans, and this Coke. All right, guys, we just finished Ono Tacos. Alyssa, what did you think? They were amazing. We had the shrimp and the fish. Um, very good on their own. The sauces were delicious, though. Four different sauces. Uh, uh, there was like an avocado one. A no red, heat. spicy one. Super spicy red one. Really I actually really enjoyed it. She's the spice queen, but I was like, no, this is delicious. Uh, pico de gallo, yeah. which was basic mild pico. And then this uh, salsa verde, which had a little heat, I felt like. I tried all four salsas on the tacos in different increments, um, and I loved them. Uh, the rice and the beans were serviceable. Standard yeah. Spanish rice and, and beans. I mean, there was nothing special about them. They were super good for a food truck, I feel like. Yeah. The beans did taste like they were slow cooked, so. But those tacos are the business. Um, I don't know, I could eat that again. Oh yeah. 
we split because the plan is to go hit some happy hours now and we're gonna eat food at each one to soak up booze. So we didn't want to eat like a full lunch. We probably could have though. I could have easily just yeah. devoured that whole plate. Check them out, Ono Tacos. I'll link in the description below. They're right in Lahaina. Um, not in downtown though. They're, they're up off uh, of, of the main drag, which is nice because it's not very crowded. There are three picnic benches outside. Um, I got, I got dutied on by a bird while we were sitting there though, which is good luck and it's fine. And thankfully it all hit my glasses. None got on my head, it hit my glasses and a little bit down on my hand. That was it. Um, cleaned up, we're all good to go now. And I do want to point out, it is cash only there. Make sure you bring cash. That's a good tip anytime you come to Maui. Have a hundred bucks in cash. Try to have small bills because the coconut stands on the side, the fruit stands on the side road, they're not going to have credit card readers. And just to tell you a quick story, the very first time we came to Maui together, we were driving way down south. We were heading to La Perouse Bay, and there was a little dude at the side selling coconut. And uh, he cut it all over for us, and I go to hand him my credit card. We were naive back then. He goes, I can't take credit card. Do you have any cash? And I was like, no, bro, I, I don't. Like, he already gave us the coconut. And he's like, well, go ahead and take it. I'm like, God, I gotta pay you. So I said, okay, are you here tomorrow? Right, tomorrow, the next yeah. day. And he goes, yeah. And I'm like, I promise you, we will bring cash back to you. We went and got cash the next morning. We drove up and down that street looking for him and he wasn't there. And that haunts me to this day that that dude gave us a free coconut because it was still delicious. Bring cash to Maui, that's important. 100 bucks, 150 bucks, 200 bucks, it depends what you're gonna do. But places like Ono Taco, they're not gonna have a credit card reader. Um, so definitely bring cash support these local businesses because that money goes directly back into the Hawaiian com uh, economy instead of going to a big tourist company that maybe uh, purchased land out here. That's going back to locals. That dude lives here on Maui. This is how he supports his family. And I'm sorry, he makes great food. Yeah. So support those local places. Don't go to the big resort restaurants and stuff. I'm not saying they're bad, we've eaten in them. But if you want good, authentic food made by a local, there's variety here. You're not gonna just be stuck eating fish or uh, uh, you know, sushi or, or uh, mixed plate like with Kahlua pork and stuff. There's a variety of local foods here. That's local Mexican food and it is darn good. Check them out. What are you drinking? I am drinking the Mai Tai. It's the Molokai Tai. Or is it the Makai Tai? The Makai Tai. <laughs> this is my first drink too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is a spa day. We're here at Mala Tavern. This is vodka, cucumber, mint. I mean, it's it's a, a healthy drink. It tastes like that water they serve at the spa that has like cucumbers and lemon floating in it. It's delicious. I'm positive there's no alcohol on this whatsoever. Mala Tavern down on Front Street on the far west end of it. Come check them out. It's Ocean View. Happy Hour also has live music. And uh, we're going to show you some food right now. Alright, so I got a ponzu oyster shear. And it came in this glass. That's a lot of ponzu though. I think that's too much liquid. That's probably going to come right back up again. So, I'm going to pull it out here. I squeeze the lemon. Nice oyster. Smells fresh. Smells good. Mmm. Definitely delicious. That is way too much liquid though. It's a fresh oyster though. Really good. I don't remember what this bread's called, but it's full part you have four pieces. It's purple inside. <laughs> and it has it's like sweet a... taro bread or something. Oh yeah, taro bread. That makes sense. <laughs> And there's some kind of butter on here, so we're gonna try it real quick. It tastes like a Hawaiian sweet roll. Okay. With flavor. Like it's not just sugar bread. It 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 has earth to it. Okay. The butter's really good on it. It's like a honey butter. It's good. I mean I would I would eat this bread all day long, but I'm Irish and that's what we do. But it's good, it's pretty tasty. I don't know if you can get the purple in there. Easy. It's good stuff, good food. It's pretty good food here. Happy hour is pretty good time. Alright, this is the margarita flatbread, just basic. Tomato, basil, mozzarella. 
Anything special about it? So now I'm drinking the Rimea River because it is happy hour and uh, I'm having a drink or two or maybe three. Uh, this has Templeton rye, sweet vermouth, lemonade, hibiscus, rhubarb bitters, aromatic bitters, and mint. Smells like a old fashioned. It's gotta be fruitier though, right? The lemon comes through. The lemonade comes through. It's a good drink. You know me, I like my whiskey neat. But in the attempt not to be wasted at four o'clock in the afternoon, uh, I, I'm trying a mixed drink. It, it's very good. It's oddly more refreshing than I thought a rye-based beverage would be. Um, there's a nice breeze coming through, and this is a good summer beverage. I would get it again. Okay, so this is the Super Freak. Like you. That's going on camera. I'm keeping that in. <laughs> It's good. It's, it's, I don't remember what's in it. Some spicy jalapeno, vodka or something. I definitely get the jalapeno. It's delicious though. Like delicious. Hey guys, we're at Cahola Brewery here in Lahaina, Maui. Uh, this is one of four breweries on the island. Uh, we actually tried this place for the first time back in 2019. Uh, it's where Maui Brewing Company actually started a, a decade plus ago. Um, it's really good beer here. Um, we're trying some new ones today that we didn't have back in 2019 and they now have a seltzer. You can get some various cocktails. Uh, it's just a cool place to hang out. It's a lot of locals with a few tourists coming through here. It's tucked back off the main road. You, you can't find it unless you know where you're looking for it. Um, but it's delicious stuff, so come check them out. I'll link in the description below. All right, so I'm trying the seltzer from Kualoa Brewery. Kualoa Seltzer. Uh, I'm gonna sip through the next three for you uh, so that we can then enjoy them. I'm gonna start with Pineapple Blonde Ale. It's a barbecue beer. You drink it while you're grilling. It's pretty tasty. A uh, little bit of sweetness from the pineapple at the end. Next one up is a Lily Koi Wheat. There's no real nose. It kind of honestly smells like, it smells very hoppy. But the flavor's there. It's a little sweet, a little tangy, but it's a good beer. And last, you're gonna be shocked right now, but I got the Lahaina Hayes IPA. He did let me try two IPAs before uh, I selected, and I chose this one because I'm not a huge IPA guy, but this one actually has a nice flavor profile. It's got a nice punch, it's got the hops that you want. It would be a good summer beer. I would drink it again. Hey guys, what's up? So we're back at the condo now. Uh, what did we do today? We did a chocolate farm, no, a dragon fruit farm, a chocolate tasting. Um, we ate at Ono Tacos. Um, we went and picked we, up friends. Who, who we just met yesterday. Yeah, we met them yesterday. We went and picked them up at the condo and then we went and hit a happy Mavern, hour. Met Mala Tavern. Mala Tavern. And then we went over to Cahola Brewery for, for a flight of beers and uh, we're back now. That's all up on the west side and we're back to the south side. It's been in the car a lot today. Uh, it's been a fairly warm day mm -hmm. and uh, I'm tired. Yeah. Yeah. So we're probably just gonna go hit the spa for a couple hours and then call it a night. Hey guys, it's Andrew. I didn't mean to interrupt your video, but I just wanted to take a moment to ask you to click that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you could, please do share these videos on social media. And by the way, we love chatting with you in the comments. Let us know what you liked or disliked down below, and let us know what you want to see in the future. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you on the next adventure.